Hello, people of YouTube. This is Jotster109. And I am doing a video review of Transformers Dark of the Moon Voyager Class Megatron. Okay, now, now we got that over with. Anyways, we got Dark of the Moon Megatron. Oh, yes, with him covering up his face with the tarp and his hand. Just like in the music video, Iridescent. You can see Megatron transforming and him putting that cloak over his face. Actually, not really over his face, more like mainly his head, like a cape. But it's more like a cloak. Anyways, let me zoom out. I'm going nowhere with this, okay. Anyways, yeah, we have Megatron here with the tarp already set in place. Now, as you all know, I always start my, re my reviews out the way they came packaged, and he came in robot mode. So I'm going to start the view, the review in robot mode. Let me give you a 360 of this guy, mainly because he is just so full of awesomeness and evil. I really, really do like the design of him because it kind of, it kind of does that, hey, I am evil, but also I have been damaged. I don't care what people think, although they have the cloak. Anyways, I'm trying to sound like Vangelis, don't I? Anyways, he looks cool, doesn't he? Um, I don't really know why. I mean, I, I guess, because look, from what I can tell, in the first movie, in the first movie, he died by Sam uh, uh, having the all spark in his hand and it shot some sort of beam and it shot him in the chest and he died. In the second movie, he was heavily, heavily damaged. Mainly because Optimus came up to him in power form and said, Hey, Megatron, guess what? And, yeah, cut off, cut off his arm, the one that had the blaster on it, and sliced up his face. Not really sliced it up, more like blasted up his face with his own cannon. Then he sliced up the cannon, then he shot him through a wall, his, 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 his tank treads on his feet were, like, getting all torn up, and he couldn't even talk. He was like, star scroll, I don't He said all gurgly, and, um... I don't know, it's kind of itchy right now. Um, and then, I guess he felt so humiliated that he got an Earth form, and he never had an Earth form before. In the first movie, he was a Cybertronian jet plane. In the second movie, he was a Cybertronian tank that could fly. And in the third movie, he is a evil, tricked-out Mack truck. That is very, very bladed and damaged. Not really damaged, more like just rusty and evil looking. It was really cool though. Um, but anyways, onto, onto the figure. It is very nice. I really do like how they finally ne don't have any weapons on his hands. It's just his hands. Let me check the tarp. It's getting in the way. Show yourself, Megatron. Show yourself for who you really are. Over there, Megatron. His face. Oh my gosh, let's get to his face. Just because. Look at that. The light piping in his face. Is, no, in his head. It's so, so awesome. Like, the entire back section of his head is like uh, red plastic. That when you shine light through it, not only his eyes glow, but also part of the damage glows. You can also tell how the left side of his face, the part that's damaged, it has, um, of course, uh, that 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 eye section uh, right there, and then like those ears, the, these these pointy parts, they got. Notice how notice how the one on the right is um is is much is much more fine. Than the one on the left because on the one on the left it looks really chipped up and kind of beat up. The entire left side of his face, basically. In the movie, he had like little crab bots all over his face, like a whole bunch of little little doctor scalpels all over his face. Just I don't know. I guess repairing. I don't. I don't really know. Um, but yeah. 
I mean, I, I really love the look of them. I really do. Also, notice how I don't have the chest opened like it's supposed to. It's supposed to be like this. But then it kind of, when we have the tarp on, it kind of, like this one, it gets in the way. So instead of just having one like that, I'll just, I'll just propose on like this. It looks better anyways to me anyways. Um, she also has kind of abs, I guess. I don't really know. I guess it kind of abs. Uh, what else? He's got his legs. His legs. I mean, really. Also, like, in the, uh, the figure, people have said, like, the trailer comes off and it's just him. But no, the entire thing transforms into Megatron. The entire thing. It looks really wicked, by the way. Oh, and also, I forgot to mention, um, I noticed that people have said, like, well, not really have said, but people have also been mainly having this on his arm, but the arm look, kind of looks kind of ridiculous with, on, with it on. So what I do is just having them look cool. I just store it on his back with that Mac Tech port. Um, it works for me. Anyways, articulation wise, uh, his head, he can look up, he can look down, and he can go 360. Ah, yeah. Also, his neck, his neck is very broad. Uh, shoulders go, he go, his arm goes all the way around. He can go out. I wish he went out at this part. Not at, or not where there, because it can't go out all the way. Um, bends at, what is this, his elbow? That and that. I don't really know what you would call that. But, and he also twists there. And his hand... I guess you could call it articulation, but yeah. Uh, he ha kind of has a waist articulation. Um, legs go forward, go back, go out, bends at the knee, turns at the knee. Uh, his foot, I guess you would call that articulation, but it's mainly part of the transformation. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> let's see. For his mech tech weapon, uh, wait, all right, hold on a second. Uh, it's 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 like a fusion cannon, like in the G1, and a lot of people have I've put it here because it's G1 accurate. I put it there too, but I'm not gonna put it on him. I mean, really, it's kind of too much of a hassle. Uh, Hasselhoff. Anyways, it has a mech tech port right here. I believe I mentioned in my Bumblebee review. Um, that you can put another mech tech weapon on this and make it even more vicious. Um, but the way to activate it is you push here on the ladder and then it becomes like a claw with a gun. And then you lock it in place by twisting the ladder. And there you go. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It's okay. I mainly have it on his back anyways. Actually, let me just leave it off for the moment. Let me show you his box, because I forgot to show you that. Okay, he is a level 2 transformation. Right here, it says... Megatron has lost battles, but he has never been truly defeated. Even after a near total destruction by the Allspark, he returned. This latest loss is nothing to him. He has plans... He, he has... Plans thousands of years in the making that are finally coming to fru fruition. This time, nothing will stop him from annihilating the Autobots completely. And there's a nice Decepticon logo there. On the back, there is his mech tech weapon. Blaster converts to fusion cannon and also becomes part of the truck. Um, actually, in the picture there, that the tarp looks more, more like cloth than rubber plastic. Watch the Hub TV Network, hubworld.com, look for Transformers Prime, okay. Uh, wait, what the heck? Are you serious? Mac. Huh. I never noticed that. Anyways. Yeah. So, yeah. Actually, one thing I don't understand is, um, actually in the picture here, he looks much more better painted. I mean, if you look at his chest, that looks, that's some nice silver. And then the tarp, for some odd reason, is on his right arm than it is on his left. Um, yeah, I don't know why they messed up there. Hasbro, get it right. 
The latest battle enhancement equipped by Transformers Warriors is the incredibly powerful Mech Tech Weapon System. Weapons work with any Mech Tech Transformers figure. Create new weapons with Mech Tech combinations. Technical data, strength, intelligence, speed, endurance, rank, and fire blast are all 10, and courage and skill are 9. Okay, dokie. Now, now, let's get on to the regular figure. But I will stop it here because there's no more point in going since. Yeah. Okay. Well, stay tuned for part two of this review. I hope to see you there. Goodbye.